hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video today i'm going to share my experience with you guys okay i'm going to tell you people about um the only job that i did which was related to what i studied in school as i told you guys guys like last time i studied business management specializing in marketing and uh, immediately after my bachelor's degree i got a job as a junior marketer in a company in belgium the name of the company is dynamo okay so dynamo is all about creating you know um new generational training on how to solve problems that occur in a company okay guys so in an organization no matter how small it is okay in any company there is always uh, you know people who work with the administration um, normal employees at the lower level and all that but you know since this is a job or since um, in every company people have to work with other people like teamwork you know so it is very important to communicate well and try to um, have a good working environment but unfortunately as humans sometimes we do disagree and when we disagree we then have problems which affect our job and in turn also affect um, you know the profit of the company so as a junior marketer in this company my main job was all about building databases okay so all i was supposed to do was get the names of company which i think are going to need our services then i build a database with this um, information contact information so that we can prepare um like a personalized email proposal and send to these um, various potential um, companies or potential clients so first of all the information that we need were things like um, the name of the company the address the mobile number especially the fixed one is okay but we can also have mobile company uh, numbers uh, email address and uh, also the website of the company okay they are all very important for for us in doing this job so actually i just go to to google i will search for the name of any company that i want to you know to add into my database and then i will now look for the person who i think is a decision maker or the biggest decision maker in this company it can either be a director a manager human resource manager or just anyone up there but the secretary is always the last person i choose and this is because with secretaries they act as a gatekeeper when you send emails directly to the secretary what they do is since the emails are unsolicited emails sometimes they don't open it sometimes they just delete it sometimes even when they open it and read it they cannot really make a decision if the proposal we send to them is good or not if they really need it or not and it also depends on the person working there if that person is too busy maybe they will not even open or they will not even open it sometimes they open it and they according to them they make a wrong judgment saying that they don't need such information or they don't need such training and they just you know delete it without actually passing it over to people like the managers or the i don't know the owner of the company yeah people that can really make good decisions for the company so actually um it is best to avoid sending your emails to the secretary and if you want to know that an email is a it's a general email that will likely be that of the secretary when i say secretary it does not mean mean, mean that it is um, his or her personal email no it is just the general email of that company but then the secretary will usually be the first person to open it before sending it up there to the human resource manager or you know the, the other, um, other managers director or owner of the company so in order to get your information directly to the people who can actually make good judgment or who can actually make better decisions about it you have to look for the phone number of the human resource manager or the email address of the human resource manager and if you want to know if that email is personalized usually you see their name for example if it's about if i if i were to be the human resource manager you will see um an email like hilda 
or awun arrobas um dynamo you know dot com something that is really related to that company but with my name with my personalized name but now if you see something like contact arrobas um lorette.com that contact already shows that that is a general email if you see something like info arrobas this.com know that that is a general email so after getting all this information i'm going to prepare a personalized email and i'm going to send it to this decision maker in that company and usually i will attach a flyer with all the different kinds of training to the company i will also try to explain to them in the email how important it is for them to buy our services okay now sometimes when you send them these emails they don't respond to it and sometimes it is because really they do not ask for it so they just believe that there's you know there are so many businesses out there and everyone wants to sell so if they are not interested in trying to know anything that they themselves are not the ones who initiated the search of it they will not open it sometimes they open it they see it but they are not interested so they'll just forget about it sometimes it is because they don't have time that they will not even open it sometimes they open it they see it and they say they'll get back to it then they forget so if you send this email like what i was saying if i send this email and i wait for some time and they don't call or reply any message i now go for a follow-up call now i'll call them to ask if they saw my email then from there i'm going to know how to talk to them but if they didn't see it maybe they'll tell me ah yeah we saw something like that but we did not open it don't worry i'm going to check then i will know that okay now the person forgot about it but because of the follow-up call the person is going to check again so you just have to try to do anything that will make these um, people have that information and know that you people exist you know my job was to try to sell our services and that is what i was doing so it can also happen that um you call they don't even pick so if i cannot get them through email and i cannot get them by calling them the next thing to do is to the next thing you have to do is to like call the secretary now the general number okay the general company number you call that number the secretary will pick then you try to tell the secretary that you need an appointment with the manager when going for that appointment you have to be prepared you know that this is your last opportunity you are going there to actually talk to this person face to face so you need to prepare a little presentation just a summary of what you people are going to do when you reach there you will talk, you will like explain um the kind of services that you people have using that pre presentation is going to actually explain uh it, it's going to help you to explain better and um you know most at times when you have this face-to-face -face communication with the managers they do better understand you because you try to use the best sales technique you can use to actually convey your message to them so that they will actually um, you know believe that that training is necessary for them and uh, guys usually that is the option that always bring in more money the face-to-face -face one but it is very difficult to get so guys that is actually what i was doing in that company and it was really nice doing that but you know my job was just to try to get the clients buy our services then now um there are people that do this training i go with them sometimes and why they are doing the, tra the training and by the side like we do it together but i'm not the one talking they are the one talking so i just stay by the side just for support or anything you know so after the training i mean i've done something nice so just getting this information trying to do email marketing trying to do you know um doing a follow-up after that about all these things it's very very necessary uh you know that companies can actually exist like this but a lot of people in that same country or in that same city will not even know that these companies exist if you yourself don't try to sell yourself that is why advertising is necessary but how many people are going to pay you know the traditional way of advertising things and all that no they don't do that anymore so you have to try to do um 
webinars you know do some kind of um online everything now is all about online okay make some videos demos to try to you know explain to people what you do and all that which is really good but guys this job was really nice i loved it all right but it did not last so now why it did not last guys i'm going to talk about that in my next video but i just hope that um the information i shared with you guys today was interesting okay just so that you get an idea of how my life has been but um yeah it was a nice experience working there but it did not last i worked there just for three months and after that i've not been able to have a white collar job anymore yeah so guys that was all about my experience in this company and i want to believe that it was interesting so if you think it was interesting please subscribe to my channel okay like the video share it and i'll be very happy to see your your comments in the comment section and please also do tell me about your experience in having a a white collar job i mean as an african abroad it is quite difficult to actually get a job so but if you did have one guys i would like to hear about your experience okay so i'll leave you now and i will see you next time thank you guys for staying with me and bye bye